So what now? I don't know. Where do we go? Well, we need water. We'll, we'll find a spring somewhere. But after that? We'll find another and then a way to feed them once the bread runs out. What happens to us now? Now we are free. We stay together and then we wait for God to tell us when to go to the land he's promised us. Grazing, water, and food for my family. By yourself? Why not? No. <laughs> we stay together. Because you say so? Because God has a plan for us. Egypt, so there's no going back that way. So it has to be the desert. We have bread for many days, but water for only a few. We've no tents, no means of sheltering against the cold of the night. None of you know how to live in the desert. Most of you are scared of it. I was too when I first came here, but I learned to live in it, and so will you. Abraham was a nomad. So are Isaac and Jacob. The desert's in our blood. We should be at home here if anyone is. So these newly freed slaves set out on one of mankind's epic journeys, led by a man who many of them believed wasn't even truly one of them, each step taking them further into the unknown.
put it down. You'd make him give up his life for yours. It's you who's risking his life, risking all our lives. What should we do? Go back to Egypt? Beg to be slaves again? By day we scorch to death, by night we freeze. How many of us will be left by the time you know where you're leading us? Nobody has to burn or freeze, but they have to work. Slaves have always their masters to rely upon. They'll bow their backs as long as their owner gives them a few rags to put on it. Tosses them scraps of food, tells them what to do. I don't want to be a slave again. Then start acting like a free man. Take care of yourself and don't take what doesn't belong to you. God speaks to him, and he speaks to God. I'm talking about your other brother. This man Moses walks in from the desert and says God has chosen him, and Aaron follows blindly, without any question, just as you do. Such love and devotion, such putting oneself aside for somebody else. It's rare, even between brothers and sisters. Don't you believe he talks to God? I believe he believes that. And that God speaks to him. He believes that too. But even you have to take his word for it. It's not just his word. We've seen God working through him. Wasn't Aaron at his side? Didn't you lead the people into the sea? God spoke to him. Not to me. Not to Aaron. Perhaps he's trying to do that. It's just that you won't listen because Moses has convinced you, as he's convinced us all, that he's the one. But he is the one. We all know that. Don't we? We know that he tells us he is. A knife may be quicker, but poison is more certain, and the best poison of all is jealousy. Save you, and he answered your prayers and brought you here. To die anyway? You think that's what he wants? I don't know. I just know that my children are sicker now than they were in Egypt. 
At least there they had water to drink. They have water here. It's poison! Moses knows the desert and he'll take us to sweet water. Is that the next spring? And how far away is that? Days? Weeks? How can we last that long? You'll drink this water. How? Maybe he didn't trust where he was being led to. Or who was leading. If there's only danger from outside, you have to fear. We have enemies here too. I'll look out for you. I have Aaron. Maybe. Brothers have been known to fall out, haven't they?
tell you he'll send you as much as you need every day. If you store it, it means you have no faith in him keeping his word. <laughs> Believe in him. That's all you have to do. If you do that, then he will take care of you. And we won't ever go hungry again. Or thirsty. I didn't train as a soldier, nor did Aaron, but we have to learn how to fight, all of us. And that means everyone. When the time comes, God will help us. To stop him doing that is an insult to him. There was a man whose house was threatened by a flood. When his neighbor left, he said he should come with them. No, he said, I'm waiting for God's help. The water kept rising. A man on a camel called to him, jump on, he said, save yourself. No, I'm waiting for God's help. The water rose to his roof. A man in a boat came by, he refused to get in it. I'm waiting for God's help. He drowned. He was very angry when he came face to face with God. Why didn't you save me? He asked. God said, I sent you the neighbor, I sent you the camel, and I sent you the boat. What more did you want? I'm doing what you told us to. Trust in God. I won't insult him and fight. Insult him by protecting yourself and your people. Even be. He's still thinking like a slave. 
When someone strikes a slave, they cower and beg, please don't hit me again. They wring their hands and keep their back bent, even while they're being beaten to death. A man with pride, pride in himself and his family and his pride. He says, touch me and you die. I think maybe you might have the makings of a warrior after all. and then for you. We can't afford to risk you in battle. Nor you. But I know who should lead them. take the village and we can't attack their army head on we have to ask ourselves how do they see us who do they think we are ex-slaves who can't or won't fight that's right what do they want from us they want to steal our flocks kill the men and boys and take all our women as slaves so we use that against them there won't be any miracles today. Today, he's testing us. If we want the sea to part, if we want the rock to split, we have to do it ourselves. With these. Seems strange to be holding these, doesn't it? We've been forbidden to carry weapons for 400 years. Forbidden to strike back when someone attacked us. All that changes today. You're the ones who will work the miracles now. Joshua will lead you in battle. Like you, he's never fought one before. But the Amalekites are fighting for loot and slaves. We are fighting for the right to exist as free people. Our cause is the greater one. And God is with us. Give us a sword. Do you have enough soldiers? It's for them. One sword won't fight off the Amalekite army. No, but it can make sure they won't take us alive. We won't be their concubines. Our children won't be their slaves.
to ask who the father is. What do I tell them? That they're not just the sons of a sheep herder, but a warrior and a leader of men. That we're going to be together from now on. They've been cast adrift as children too. Just as you were. Don't you want to bring them to shore? shepherd. This is my flock. I can't abandon it. We'll stay with you. We'll go on the journey with you. I can't. This takes everything I have. Every moment of the day and the night. who was like a father to you. Turn your back on me, on your sons. How much more will I take from you? Is what you're seeking worth what it's costing you? to take. 
take everything from me, is that it? And I have nothing left. Other people can have wives and children and fathers and mothers, but not me, because, because you chose me for what? To suffer? To be alone? Take it. Take it all. Do, do you want me naked? You want me to have nothing left at all except this, this burden, this responsibility, when you won't even tell me where I'm supposed to lead them and how long it will take. There. Get someone else. I never asked for it. I don't want to be the chosen one. I just want the life that other men have. I, w I want my children. At least talk to me. Give me an answer. Give me a sign that you are there. Moses. 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 You all right? You get lost? I was praying. Talking to God. The wells run dry. We need you to tell us where to go next. Very well. We need tallow for candles, but we can't make it while we're on the move, so... And we need more wood for the fires. And wolves got into the sheepfold last night. Einstein's built that? No. It's a temple for an Egyptian outpost. How do you know that? I was a prince of Egypt once, remember?
Philistines must have overrun it. No. The Egyptians destroyed it themselves. If the idea of God had any meaning, there could only be one all-powerful God. But if men started to question what they had been told to believe since the world began, what else might they not begin to question? One God. A ridiculous idea. Far better that there should be as many gods as there are men. If only to keep us priests employed. <laughs> if, if there was one God, if he made the world and the sun and the moon and the stars, then, then he'd be everywhere, wouldn't he? He'd be a god of the desert and the cities and the mountains too. He'd be in the wind and flames. And in your heart too. You wouldn't have to make a statue of him to worship because, because he'd be all around you. And you could be a nomad and still be in touch with him. And if you asked him his name, that's how he'd answer. He's, he's no need for a name. He just is. And he is what he is. One God, not one among many. One! The one! so that we need to turn on our own? Is that what it is? It's come to that? I've brought them this far only to have them kill each other? We brought them this far. Aaron and I, too. I'm sorry, yes. Of course. Without you, too. So... find the killer and punish him in front of all the tribe you agree if this goes unpunished what's to stop any man from killing anyone he has a quarrel with you know who killed him I can name the murderer there the Aether found him trying to steal his new lambs they fought it sucks for revenge we fought, yes, and I, I did say I'd kill him, but I didn't do it, I swear. Has anyone proof that he killed him? Proof that he hid the body? No. But then let him go. No, I no. said <laughs> let him go. I would punish a man there's no proof against. Then let us have him. We are not an unthinking mob. We are a tribe, a people, a nation. Haven't you learned that? We don't blindly seek revenge. We look for justice. Well, justice is there, and letting this killer go free. He's right. Oh, 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 Where's the justice? He's there. I say again. Has anyone the proof? Anyone? Free him. 
I saw them together. They were arguing on the way to where the body was found. You were afraid to say the word. What kind of leadership is that? No. No, this is wrong. Blood for blood. What other way can it be? Isn't that right? Why make murderers of us too? Make us share the crime? You've had your judgment. Let her have hers. Both of you. 
tell me you forgive me. It's for God to forgive. But you understand I did it out of fear and anger. I understand that more than anyone else in the world ever could. special nation if we obey his laws if we have no other god but him shall we say yes, yes. shall we yes. you asked me for justice and i tried to find it in here instead of there do you accept god's bargain knowing how terrible his anger will be if you fail to keep it yes yes yes, yes. you my brother you will be the first priest of this bargain with God if you accept. Do you accept? Yes! Yes!
关系I didn't train as a soldier, nor did Aaron, but we have to learn how to fight, all of us. everyone. When the time comes, God will help us. To stop him doing that is an insult to him.
There was a man whose house was threatened by a flood. When his neighbor left, he said he should come with them. No, he said, I'm waiting for God's help. The water kept rising. A man on a camel called to him, jump on, he said, save yourself. No, I'm waiting for God's help. The water rose to his roof. A man in a boat came by, he refused to get in it. I'm waiting for God's help. He drowned. He was very angry when he came face to face with God. Why didn't you save me? He asked. God said, I sent you the neighbor, I sent you the camel, and I sent you the boat. What more did you want? I'm doing what you told us to. Trust in God. I won't insult him and fight. Insult him by protecting yourself and your people. Even be. He's still thinking like a slave. When someone strikes a slave, they cower and beg, please don't hit me again. They wring their hands and keep their back bent, even while they're being beaten to death. A man with pride, pride in himself and his family and his pride. He says, touch me and you die. Maybe you might have the makings of a warrior after all. and then for you. We can't afford to risk you in battle. Nor you. But I know who should lead them. How do they see us? Who do they think we are? Ex-slaves who can't or won't fight. That's right. What do they want from us? They want to steal our flocks, kill the men and boys, and take all our women as slaves. So we use that against them. There won't be any miracles today. Today, he's testing us. If we want the sea to part, if we want the rock to split, we have to do it ourselves. With these. Seems strange to be holding these, doesn't it? We've been forbidden to carry weapons for 400 years. Forbidden to strike back when someone attacked us. All that changes today. You're the ones who will work the miracles now. Joshua will lead you in battle. Like you, he's never fought one before. But the Amalekites are fighting for loot and slaves. We are fighting for the right to exist as free people. Our cause is the greater one. And God is with us. <laughs> We have enough soldiers. 
fights for them. One sword won't fight off the Amalekite army. No, but it can make sure they won't take us alive. We won't be their concubines. Our children won't be their slaves. Wait.
and then the Amalekites. Shouldn't they celebrate? Instead of having Moses speak to them as if being chosen as God's people is a curse and not a reward. Why don't we celebrate? Don't we deserve to? We should wait. I love our brother. Sometimes, when he looks at you, even you, he sees someone who is still a slave at heart. He left me in charge. Then show you're in charge. I'm the leader while he's gone. Then lead. We need a sign. A symbol. Something to remind them that they're God's people.
You said... Thanks. 
with it. A land flowing with milk and honey. But they must go there without me. No! no! I say yes. And I say no. They need you. I need you. They need the law that you gave them. God has written the words of his laws on stones so that we will have them for all time. You will have no other God than the one true God. And you will not make an image of God. You will not take his name in vain. You will keep every seventh day holy for him. You will take care of your father and your mother. You will not kill. You will not commit adultery. You will not steal. You will not party yourself. I saw them together. You will not be jealous of what others have. Don't agree to these laws lightly. You have seen God's power. If you say yes and fail him, he won't just punish you. He'll punish your children. And your children's children. Where are we going? The land God promised us. How long will it take? until God thinks we're ready. Now began 40 years of fighting, danger, and hardship for this ragged band of ex-slaves on their way to becoming a people. Forever unknown.